78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, I seen an interview from Floyd Mayweather. Shout out to my brother, Cali Enigma. He sent me the uh, interview from the Pivot Podcast where Floyd was on. Floyd talked about a lot of different things uh, in there. You know, he did a little hating on the new generation and, and old school fighters a little bit, but that's typical Floyd. One thing I want to give Floyd credit for that I heard in the interview was the respect, that, the newfound respect that he's now showing for his father, okay? Floyd, um, you know, used to have this sort of weird disdain for his dad, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was angry, um is some of the, the life choices and decisions that his father made when he was younger. His father being a pro boxer and then went to the streets hustling, doing what he could and um, teaching Floyd his craft as far as boxing goes. Floyd used to, you know, not have a lot of respect for his dad. He was still angry at his father for some of the, the, the choices that his father made. Floyd now as a grown man, um, as a grandfather now, Floyd understands what his father went through and the sacrifices his father made for him. He gets it now, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Floyd for getting it, you know what I mean? Uh, Floyd also, you know, talked about his assistant, the passing of his assistant, which I didn't know nothing about, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my condolences to her family. But he talked about the passing of his assistant and uh, he broke down a little bit. He was saying how she was the only person, she was basically his best friend. She was the only person that he could talk to about anything and everything. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that's a tough loss for anybody. You know what I mean? When somebody loves you unconditionally, you know, your road dog. I mean, everybody got, listen, we got, we got family members. We got siblings, brothers, sisters. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got best friends and all of that stuff. But... How many people in your life can you really truly talk to about anything? Who can you talk to about anything? And trust that what you're talking to them about stays with them. Their loyalty is not, uh, um, it's not conditional. It's not, well, as long as we cool, your secrets are safe with me. See, how many people do we have in our life that you can talk to about anything. Me, I got one. I got one person in my life that I trust to talk to about any and everything. Anything. Or well, just one. Okay? And that person loves me unconditionally. Right? And that, that person, I've seen that love. I know what that love feels like. You understand? I've been locked up and, you know, it had this person do whatever they could to, to keep me out of prison. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's as far as I go with that conversation, but it's only one. Now, I got friends for sure. I got loved ones, all that. Right? But you can't, those aren't, you can't talk to them about anything. You can't dump all your pain and problems onto that person and, and trust that this going to stay between them. No, because the way people work now and operate now, there's no loyalty. As soon as y'all have an argument or fallout, first thing they're going to do is use all your pain and trauma against you. That's what they're going to do. Right? As soon as you... Oh, my God. That scared the mess out of me. You know I'm half crazy. I thought I just seen a, a baby dinosaur. But look how crazy I am. Look at this. It is a baby dinosaur. Look at this, man. Some kid must have left that up there. Scared the mess out of me for I'm like, man, I know I ain't tripping. But anyway, to back to what I was talking about was uh you don't really know. I mean to, to lose somebody as close to you like that, your road dog, a piece of you leaves when they leave. So I, my condolences to Floyd Mayweather and um uh his assistant's family, because that gotta be tough. I could feel the pain that was coming from him in that interview when talking about it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm glad that Floyd um, reconciled or made peace 
with his with his father and um understands what his father went through his father made some he did what he had to do in order to take care of his son without floyd senior being and doing every single thing he did floyd mayweather jr would not be the man he is today uh, uh you know what i'm saying he wouldn't have the money he has today he wouldn't have the successes that he has today he wouldn't have the children without your father doing exactly what he did floyd mayweather as we know him today wouldn't exist right his father gave him a craft. He gave him something, you know, um, taught him boxing, you know, kept him around the sport, kept him around, kept him motivated, you know what I mean? And a lot of the trauma that Floyd had to go through as a child led to his greatness. Same thing with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford's father wasn't around in his life on a consistent basis, uh, but he had a mother in his life who uh, didn't know how to love him. Right, and Terrence Crawford always wanted that love from her, wanted some affection from her. But had she gi given it to him, had she given him, let me get up out here so I can get a copyright strike. Somebody coming out here playing music. But um, had Terrence Crawford's mother given him the uh, the affection and love that he was looking for, maybe that, maybe he wouldn't have been as hungry. You know, maybe he wouldn't have been as hungry. He wouldn't be the Terrence Crawford that we know today. See what I'm saying? Maybe he wouldn't have put in the work and made the sacrifices necessary to become undisputed champion, multi-division champion, right? Some people use their trauma the right way. Use their trauma as motivation. You know what I mean? And that's the, that's the case for so many. And some people let their trauma destroy them, you know? Some people are destroyed by um, a few bumps in the road. That's their excuse to quit, you know what I mean? A few bumps in the road. Oh, it's tough. This road too rocky, I quit, right? Then you'll have other people that the road is rocky and they continue on. They become successful. And the people who quit get mad at them and hate on them. It's ridiculous, man. But I enjoyed the interview on Pivot Podcast. I enjoyed that interview from Floyd. Like I said, I don't agree with everything he said, you know. But, you know, it's a lot of, you know, I'm not even going to focus on the negative. Well, there's a lot of stuff I disagree with, but who cares? On the positive note, I was glad to hear him say the positive things he said about his father. You understand? The respect that he now has for his father. And I'm glad that guys like Devin Haney have respect for their father. Right? He understands now, Devin Haney been understood what his father is doing for him and what his father, the sacrifice his father made for him. You know what I mean? Devin didn't allow the media and the haters to separate him and his father because that's what they try to do. You know, it ain't, it ain't, and like I said, it ain't white folks no more. In this day and age, it's black people doing all the damage. Black folks will hop on the internet and talk bad about another brother. Oh, he need to, man, oh, he need to try to break up a father-son duo. Try to break it up. You know? Jumping into everybody's business, reporting on stuff that ain't even true, just because you want to see see somebody see the demise of somebody's family, somebody's loved ones. And this is what this is what this is what they do now on the internet. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but you know, it don't matter. Uh, from a family perspective, you know what I mean? You, you, when you got real family that love you, real family that's willing to sacrifice for you, you I mean, you got you to gotta cherish that, fam. Just because somebody is your blood relative don't mean uh, that they got your best intentions. They got your best, for, uh, uh, they got the best intentions for you. Somebody can be your blood relative and be jealous of you. Somebody can be your blood relative, but if you got, you got two pieces of pie, they only got one, they expect you to, to, to give them another piece of pie. So they can have two and you can have one. You understand me? There's, certain, there's some people out here that are just uh, envious and jealous. You know, family, friends, whatever it, it may be. They envious and they jealous and they nothing you can do about it to, uh, to heal that situation. They got to heal themselves. You know what I mean? We see a lot of these, we see what's going on with 
Monique and her son on the internet be dissing each other. It's just, it's pathetic. You seen Corey Holcomb dissing his baby. You know, it's pathetic, really. Right? People love that kind of stuff. They love the chaos. They love the drama. They report on that kind of stuff. But as soon as somebody say, oh, I love you, bro. They, they ain't getting no news. That, that's not fun. Ain't nobody, nobody care. Just like, I bet you I'm going to be the only one making this positive video about what Floyd said about his father. I bet you. I'd be shocked if somebody else made a video before me talking about the positive what, what, that came from that interview. See what I'm saying? Because people tend to look for the negative and everything. Even with this video, I'm doing this video, it's going to be somebody in the chat who heard something in this video he disagreed with, and that's what he's going to focus on. He ain't going to focus on the positive stuff that he agrees with me on. He's going to focus on the negative. But anyway, um, at the end of the day, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that Floyd Mayweather is successful. A lot of people think I can't stand Floyd, but no, I just think Floyd is in a position to help, and he should help, instead of hating, because Floyd do a lot of hating, you know what I mean? He does. Floyd has a jealous streak in him, and he lets that jealousy, that envy, get the best of him sometime, and it comes out in a way that's, uh, you know, unmanly. You know what I mean? You got too much money, too much success, too much blessings around you for you to be hating on these youngsters that's coming up. You know what I mean? Too much. And Floyd does. He does He does some hating. You know what I'm saying? The people, oh, no. Why would Floyd hate? Why would he hate? Bro, <laughs> I'm not even going to go down that path again, man. It, it, like I said, I've always been telling y'all, it don't mean, it's because you got money don't mean you can't be a hater. You can easily be jealous of somebody who got less money than you. Right? You ain't never in your life had somebody who had more than you that's jealous of you. Right? They Because some people want to be, they got ego. They want to be the only one winning. You know what I'm saying? You can see that at the job and everywhere else. Right? But yeah. Black fathers, black families in general, the, the uh, you know, the camaraderie that they have uh, between Devin Haney and his father, I salute them. I love that and I'm always gonna support it, you know what I'm saying? Kenny Porter and Sean had a great, was a great duo, you know? You saw the media trying to break them up, you know? That's what they do. People hate, people, miserable people hate love and hate success, see what I'm saying? If they can't be the part of your success, if you ain't giving them a cut of your success, you'll be surprised at how many people turn on you. You think the people around you are your friends, even your family, you think they love you, the moment they can't profit from you, they will turn on you. I know this personally, you know what I'm saying? People you done spent your life helping, right? You done did so much for them. You done, done, you done, you done, you done did stuff that had you doing 30 years in prison for these people. The moment you can't let them borrow $5,000, so they can pay this or do that. Oh man, now they talking bad about you. Now you ain't no good, now you selfish. Now all the dirt y'all did in the past, he snitching and telling. See what I'm saying? This is how people are. So anyway, proud of Floyd Mayweather for, you know, he came a long way from his HBO 24 seven days hating on his dad. So I'm, I'm glad that he understands the sacrifices his father made for him and how his father is responsible uh, for where he is today. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. And I'm up out of here, deuces.